Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Alone, and in my inventory you can see I have a lot of things planned for invention. I'm getting some divine charges and I'm getting some equipment siphons to be able to get into invention in my future PVM goals. So first off after this, I'm gonna get some charge and all that, and then I'm actually going to go to the face punch... I can't pronounce it. Face punch bonanza minigame to get my CD side because I don't have it on this account and I only have like 100 points and you need 2200 I think. And after that, when I have that, I'm going to start my big PVM grind, which is going to be to get a shit ton of Ganodermic Flakes. I'm going to do Ganodermic Beasts with the CD side and also get some farming experience on the way while doing it. And that's why I also wanted Invention Charge to be able to get Invention experience from doing it. Hopefully I be, will be able to get a shit ton of these Ganodermic Flakes and I will make them into hats, like Ganodermic Visors. And then alk them for a lot of money. So that's going to be the way I'm going to get some money, which I'm in dire need of. I have 1.6 million only. And then also I will get some invention gains and some farming experience and overall good thing for my account. Also, I need to see this side anyway, so I'm going to get on that. Anyways, I'm going to get some charge and get on getting my city side. 14 hours of charge and I'm going to also siphon the anima core legs that I already had at level 12 So let's do that for 500,000 invention should get 69. I guess there we go I'm 17k to 70 so that's actually very close, but yeah, let's get that CD side Holy shit, this game is so boring. Anyways, it's done now. I have over 2,200 points. There we go. The city side, 2,270 as a matter of fact. So let's buy that. And I am so happy. I do not have to do this mini game more because the farming experience, bonus experience in mining and all that, it's not worth it. The pain of playing this mini game is not worth it. Only for the city side. So now I have it. Happy with that. I'm also going to actually augment my uh, noxious staff because... Well, everyone in my last video said I should do that. So I'm definitely going to do that. So I need to get an augmenter, but I'm going to do that. And I'm going to get into some Ganodermy Beast grinding. I do actually want to see what the difference of time left we will have if I have two augmented items on. So I have 14 hours now. Let's apply the augmenter to the Noxious Staff. Okay, there we go. It's now augmented. I'm going to equip it and let's see how long time we have now. So from 14 hours to two hours. Now that's a difference. <laughs> okay, I will be needing to farm a lot more energies. Wait, is it just because of the staff is like so requiring? Let's see, two hours. Whoa, this is... That's interesting, actually. I might have to not use the noxious staff then for Ganodermic Beasts. I might actually have to use this one instead and just put an augmenter on that. I will augment this one and I will see how long that is compared to like two hours. Or from 14 hours to two hours, uh, I will see how long... This will drag it down from 14 hours. The difference is actually not that big. With the Noxious Staff, I have 2 hours and 20 minutes. And with a tier 78, which is obviously way weaker, I have 3 hours and 30 minutes. So I'm still going to use the Noxious Staff, actually. I think it's way more effective. And it is the weapon for sure, because if I remove this and I click on the Staff, it's still 2 hours and 48. So I only gain like 28 minutes from removing the leg. So I will just keep those on as well. And I will just have to get more charge over time, I guess. So this is the plan. I just used all the charge that I had collected, which was about two hours as you saw in my last clip. And I have level 10 leggings now and level 11 noxious staff. And now that I've used all of that, I've collected 21,000 Garandermic flakes. So I've got quite a lot of flakes, but this is only the first trip. Also, I've got 76,000 farming and 1 million magic experience. Yeah, that's quite a lot of magic experience actually from the Ganodermic Beasts. But I'm going to get back and get even more charge. I'm going to get, I would say roughly, estimately the same amount, but maybe more, maybe slightly less. And I will get back to you guys when I've used all that charge on Ganodermic Beasts again. Okay, so this time I have slightly more charge, but still around the same amount, 3 hours and 28 minutes, so almost 3.5 hours. I'm going to do Ganodermic Beast for 3.5 hours, and let's see where these numbers are going to be, the magic and farming experience. And also, I'm going to have to siphon my legs and my weapon very soon, so I will actually do that off video and you guys will see how much invention I will have gained. Okay, that is the second trip completed and I have almost 25,000 Ganodermic Flakes, 99 Blue Charms, 23 Crimsons and also, as you can see, I got 1 Triskelion Fragment 3 and 1 Triskelion Fragment 1. So I can actually make a whole Triskelion key, so I'm going to do that. I'll show you guys the loot of that, but yeah, that's... Quite a lot of Ganodermic Flakes. I think I have like 50,000 maybe in the bank now. 
Also, my experience is almost 1.1 million invention and my staff is 11, like halfway to maybe 12 and my legs are 7. So, I also got 175,000 farming so far. That is a lot for just killing creatures, like for extra experience from the city side. So getting that was definitely worth it. And 2.4 million magic, that is absurd. The magic experience from this is just crazy. But yeah, I'm going to get that Triskillion key done and I'll show you guys the loot. Alright, there we go. Nothing spectacular from the reward. Of course, an elite clue skull as always. Five dragon stones and some good, I, I guess, for like artistian workshop or something. So I got like two hours of charge again and I did a trip and I got 16,600 Ganodermic Flakes and also I got some ores and some rare drop. I got this rare drop, look at this. Grimy Snapdragons, 108 of them. That's actually very good. I can't remember what you get. I think that's restores. I'm not 100% but I think that's what it is and that's really good. Also got a Triskillion Fragment, nice. Uh, and uh, Subjugation Legs is level 10 and my weapon is level 10. So I can't siphon any of them yet, but I did get 16.6k Ganodermic Flakes for, I think it was 2 hours, estimately. And, or roughly you say in English, the English language. Uh, but what I'm going to do now that I'm done with all these 3 trips, I'm going to actually go and buy those Ganodermic, or it's not called Ganodermic, it's called like Michelish, I have no idea. Uh, from the shop upstairs, so I can actually make Ganodermic visors with all the uh, flakes that I have. And also, I'm going to show you guys how many overall I have in the bank in just a second. These are the ones I'm talking about, Mycelium Visor Web. I, th I would assume that's how you pronounce it, but I'm not sure at all. And I'm going to go to the bank right now and show you guys how many of the flakes I have. And I, to make one of these, I think it's 500 flakes. So I'm going to have to buy quite a lot of them, I think. Let's see how many I have. 62,000 flakes, that's 120-ish, or 121 I think, exactly, no it's more, it's obviously more, it's like 125, 130 of these that I need, so that's going to be quite a lot, because you can only buy 40 from uh, the store, so I probably have to world hop, or maybe I can buy like the ponchos or something, I'm not sure what crafting level, I'm 94, I think I can make the poncho, I'm not sure, but yeah, that's another way of, I, I guess, I can make use of these flakes even faster. So it takes 1,500 Ganodermic flakes to make the legs and 500 for the hood. So it takes three times as more to make the legs. And when you alk the helmet, you get 120. And when you alk the leggings, you only get 240. So you actually lose money from making the leggings compared to the visor. So I have to make visors if I want to make maximum money and to... The poncho is like also even more money you lose, I think, but uh, it also requires 98 crafting and I don't have 98 and I don't want to get the boost and all that. So I actually am going to have to get 120 plus of these visors. And as a matter of fact, even if you world hop, you cannot get 40 more from the store. They don't restock when you swap worlds. So I'm going to just have to wait for the store to restock. So I'm going to have to not do all of this right now. I'm going to just, you know, every day go and buy 40 and then after like 3 days I can make all of the 120 of them. But for now I'm going to actually make use of all these 41, I'm going to alk them and I should have like 6 mil, actually more because I already have 3 mil. I should have like roughly 7 mil which is actually a lot of money already so that's going to help out a lot. Okay, so that's all the visors that I could make and I'll look right now. So I have 8.2 mil. That's very nice. From having like almost no money to 8.2 mil is very nice. Also, I forgot to say, look at my experience. I have 243,000 farming from that. 1.7 million invention. And also, as I said before, my legs and weapon is level 10. So they're fairly close to being able to be siphoned. And also I have 3.3 million magic. That is really, really nice. The magic experience from this is very, very cool. Because I'm almost 60 million magic. So it's only like 40 million, 44 million exactly um, experience until I have my 120 cape, which is something I'm really looking forward to. But of course, 44 million experience is quite a lot, but that 3.3 million helped out quite a bit actually towards my road to 120. Now, this is something I have not done for like almost two years now. Open the oyster. I'm pretty sure I can open it because, well, I am pretty sure I put in something here and then I went and just quit the game for a while. So let's see if two years of waiting for an oyster reward is going to give me something good. Hopefully it's not like 50k reward. All right. All right. Well, you know what? 500k is not too bad. I got a lot of rune items. Age 2. I'm pretty sure I have all the age items. So yeah. Not the best, 
not a not a barrel's die or something but 500k is i think above average quite a lot above average so also of course the experience every single time that you get is really really good like 500 experience drops from this is really fucking crazy and then actually i'm going to go and just interrupt this real quick and see how much you get from the fishing at level 90. three po okay 3.4k fishing experience per tick it's so crazy experience now that is going to do it for this video, hope you guys did enjoy it, and uh, by the way, I have seen from some people that they didn't see that I posted the other two RuneScape Iron Man series videos, and that is because when you haven't posted in a long time, which I hadn't done on my channel, especially RuneScape content, and you haven't watched my videos for a long time, YouTube will just like ignore actually showing you guys my videos, so if you are interested, I don't, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but if you are really like want, you really want to see when I post my videos, you can click on like a bell icon beside the subscriber uh, subscriber button and it should be like some option of being notified when I post videos so if you really like watching these videos and you really want to see when I post the video that's like the safe way of doing it I guess because otherwise YouTube might be like oh you haven't watched a lot of RuneScape videos from this guy recently so we're just not going to show you those videos it's pretty stupid how it works but I think that's how it works overall anyways. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care and have a good one.